Hey everybody, Alex from seemsgoodmagic.com here back and we are doing a best of one Bloomboro draft. Okay, well rare is Beastbinder, which is a fine card, but I'd probably rather just have Fell. Bark Knuckle Boxer is a good beater too. The card is sweet. This is pretty amazing removal though. Deal with anything for two mana is nice. Nightfisher, so the bird deck is kind of slow. It's kind of your, I've decided my pivot archetype is the bird archetype if what I'm going for isn't working out and I'm in either blue or white um, other good cards in here I mean it's fell it's boxer probably don't need the wear down night fisher's kind of expensive um, what's this mouse do rummage angler is good for the otter deck but no, I think I fine. I'm fine doing the fell. Fine first pick. All right, follow up pick. So bat is going to be black white. This is a two drop two one. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. I mean, it's pretty good. And it's got offspring. That's good for the archetype it wants to be in. This also wants to be in that deck. Pretty badly. Otherwise, mouse is red white. Um. A squirrel is green black, and that's not bad either. This is also green black and removal. Um, so this wants to be blue green, really, to maximize it. I feel fine taking the cleric here. It's a good card. Two drop, two one flyer is already good. And then on top of that, I mean, it can't block, but I imagine you want to beat in with your your two drop. We'll see if we can make the bats happen. Four drop, four four reach. Makes things bigger, it's pretty sweet too. Get into the battlefield effects again. That's a good uncommon, but I'm gonna take the cleric. See if bats are open. All right, whenever you gift, draw a card. So it could be something we go for in this color scheme at least. This is for bats. This is pretty good, decent. I should say decent removal. I mean, I think it's early enough where we could go for gifting. But Sonar Strike is certainly playable removal. You can also deal it to tapped creatures, which is kind of nice. It's not just attacking block, it's also tapped. Uh, but we're, getting this third pick is kind of crazy. This card is really strong. But I'm kind of fine taking Gerbils or Sonar Strike. This is uncommon, so you're going to see it left less, but then you kind of have to grab gift cards to really make sure you maximize it. I'm fine taking this on our strike. It's playable outside of bats, although certainly significantly worse. Let's give it a try. It does seem a bit early, but that's okay. So duo, not a bat, but death edge and Certainly fine ground blocker. This is a bat technically, but I would say it's worse than duo. Um, this has flash, which is not bad, but I think I'd rather have death toucher with mill. And then there's no bats in here otherwise. All right, let's take the duo. Could also still just be rats or squirrels. This is nice because it's both. Squirrels would be green, black. Rats would be blue, black. So let's take a look. I think that's a fine spot to be. Okay, so this does gift. If, um, Fabled Passage. Well, this is cool because it's just a free card in the deck. Um, otherwise, Intimidator. Another Sonar Strike is probably fine. If we end up with more bats, it's much better. I'm gonna go with the removal here. I'm gonna just hope that we can make bats work. And like I said, if we can't make bats work, it's still kind of okay. And then we get the mentor. Finally, we get a sweet bat here. Yeah, this is great with sonar strike. So that's really nice. It's definitely gonna push us more into bat territory here. 
This is one of the big payoffs for the archetype, so that's nice. This pack has a lot of goodies in it, though. Agate Assault. I think Stargaze is probably at its best in the, the bat deck as well, so um, that's cool. But yeah, we take that. The Mentor easily. Okay, well, we could just take Cave in. It's kind of free fixing. It is a tap land, but it just makes your mana base better. And this of down players isn't really something we need. Just a bird, bird. If we take this, we get a bat, but I don't know if it really matters. I mean, I guess it's pretty decent with the two sonar strikes. Four damage gain three life for two mana is certainly better than not gaining three life. So, I mean, giving up a provision or a squire probably doesn't matter. This format is very fast. All right, now I guess I'll take a provisioner. We have some non flyers, so that's fine. Um, it's got offspring. Three mana, two bodies. That's honestly not bad. Um, I'll just take the crier, pass the blue and the, the red card. So. Not a bad pack one. We have the Mentor, the Fell, and the Starscape Cleric being probably our best overall cards. We're going to need some more payoffs if we can find them. So, you know, the Assassin is not bad because it gains you life, but oh, well, the Stoat is actually just really good um, for the lifelink alone. Otherwise, there's Waxwain Witness, which is a bat too, but I think the Stoat is just significantly better. First Strike Lifelink for two mana is incredibly strong. Good Lizard here. That Battler is nice. Dewdrop Cure is good if you have a lot of... I mean, it's got a picture of a mouse on it, so you can guess which deck it's for. The Banner is probably not bad if you have a lot of like Offspring Bat stuff or Bat Token stuff. But yeah, it's just an easy stoat here. It's actually very good at the provisioner too. Ooh, well, we're not, I don't think we're splashing for this. So even though we could, so we could take the Moonrise Cleric. That, that's probably um, the best for the archetype unless there's another bat. No, but that's worse than the Cleric. Okay, I think we can take Cleric here. Ta Talent is really good too, actually. It's got a picture of bat on it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's two mana, discard two or a non-land. I mean, it's nice. I'm gonna go with the Cleric though, I think. Just the, the synergy with Mentor is quite good, as well as Starscape Cleric. So we wanna get all our synergy cards going here. Dawn's Truce, you, all right, this isn't that great right now. Life Creed Duo, on the other hand, is really nice. Star Charter, too. If you gain your light, yeah. That's pretty nice. We need a lot of, this is like our pack. We need all this stuff. So this is just residual way to gain life, but so is the Moonrise Cleric. Driftgloom Coyote is great because it's removal. Star Charter is also Pretty excellent though. Let's us get like even stars here, mentor we could get with it. Yeah, I think we'd probably go with the uncommon here. That's synergistically good. I want the life grade duo a lot, but I think the upside of Star Charter is pretty significant. Three mana three one flyer when it or another creature controlled flying dies. Yeah, that's pretty excellent considering how many flyers we have. Otherwise, feed the cycle. Solid removal. But this is a rare for a reason. Three drop, three power flyer. I think we're going to take that. And we just have a bunch of flyers already, so it makes sense. So we take the witness. I mean, it's fine. It's got vigilance too. Good blocker. Yeah. All right. 
not much else for us, so. All right, another Moonrise Cleric, good. This is, I guess you choose bats in this deck, but that's all right. Moonrise Cleric is gonna be good. So, that's kind of cool. Oh, Lose is flying though, eh, it's a little less good. All right, let's, let's just take another Witness. So we probably, yeah, I mean, the Vigilance kind of makes them. All right, we could take a Stargaze over a third Witness or just take a Haven for more. Probably don't need more than two. Maybe we just take a Stargaze. I mean, we're gonna, this is where it's at its best with gaining life. Three witnesses does seem excessive, but the harvester is pretty mediocre. It does have reach, I guess. Um, mana value two or less. We really don't have that many. I guess I'll take a third witness. I don't really want that many. Well, getting Bandit's talents back is kind of nice, actually. Totally playable here. Ah, oh, wow. What a gift. 11th pick life greed duo that is incredible such a strong card for us i took the star charter over it which i don't regret but um i could see cutting the provisioner already i could see cutting the sword master as well yeah neither of these cards really matter for us so we're in a pretty good spot. I mean, we already basically have a deck, so we just need to supplement with a few more good bats. I, I guess we could take Banishing Light and get some removal. Really, we have what, one squirrel maybe? Yeah, so we don't need that one. It's pretty strong though, geez. We could take the Banishing Light, just get removal or orator. It's a way to just get back strong creature in our deck, but I'm fine taking a Banishing Light. That gives us Fell, two Sonar Strikes. That's like our last removal spell. I'm okay with that. Warren Guard. All right, another Starscape Cleric is, oh, or the Mentor. Well, <laughs> this is quite a bit cheaper, but Mentor's upside is, well, gosh, they're both really good. This 3-5 Flying Vigilance is, really good body but this is so much cheaper and i mean this really goes off with life creed duo we're kind of already a little clunky on the top end i feel like maybe we wield the mentor but we probably don't wield the cleric i mean they're both incredible i'm just gonna go with the cheaper one this one is i mean it's great too i don't know what to say i want them all Ooh, what do you do no oh. You know, the rats to support that, unfortunately. So we could take the mascot. It's a bat, but it's just a cheap creature for us. Just don't need wick, unfortunately. We have one rat. I don't really think we need a really winter. Although, yeah, we're playing best of one. We don't need any of this. I mean, our bat count is... 10 banner gets quite a bit better all right i'll take a banner i don't think we're gonna play it but we have a lot of bats so skunk assassin huh it's got flash too it's actually a good card uh savers cheap removal there's an order in here another moonrise cleric i mean the cleric is gonna have the most upside with the starscape cleric so could just take that this card's really good though Four mana, four. Oh, it doesn't have flying though. It looks like it has flying for some reason. I'm gonna take the cleric. I'm gonna go with my gut. Cause we have a lot of removal already. Two friends, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I guess we'll take an intimidator. We don't really need it. Maybe I'll just take the rare there. Well, we don't need a rabbit response either. Could take a hidden grotto. Our mana base is probably fine. We don't have any rabbits, so I doubt we're gonna need the go wide of rabbit response. Although, I mean, we have all flyers, so. But we already have a deck, I think, so we kind of don't need it. 
all these witnesses. I'm just going to take a two drop. We already have three witnesses. That's more than enough. So could take dire sight, more card draw. Lose life actually makes sense in here. So, all right. With all the life gain. I don't think we got that mentor back, unfortunately, but that's okay. We ended up with a pretty low curve. So we could take the Haven, but Order is actually a pretty decent card, I think. Keeps us from being too clunky. Oof, wow. Got the mentor back. What a gift. That is such an excellent pickup for us. All right. I kind of be honest, I kind of doubt we need the mascots, but we'll take a look. I think we have enough cheap stuff where we're going to be good. All right. So we ended up with a million bats. That does make Banner quite a bit better, actually. I mean, Banner in this deck is basically a Lord effect for our whole deck. This is more like we want it to be a five drop, but it's totally fine as a two drop too. So we have to make five cuts. I'm still fine playing Grotto and Haven. Stargaze and Dire Sight for card draw is fine. What are we cutting? So duo, it's just a death toucher on the ground. I don't know if we need it. Keeps our bat count higher. I don't know if we're gonna have space to do the, because we have 20 creatures. Like it seems easy enough to just cut the changelings, cut the banner, just not fuss with them. And then cut one more creature. Oh, this is down. That that seems like an easy one to cut. All right. Well, I mean, it's curve ended up good. We have some cool, strong flyers, a lot of life gain, the duo and the clerics. And the witness gets a lot better with the cleric. So, <sighs> yeah. Sonar strike two is sweet in this deck. Hmm. Yeah. Removal looks decent. Fell. Light. Two strikes. Not bad. Dire Sight and Stargaze for card draw. I'm okay with it. I mean, the Mentor is quite good, so... I said flying vigilance is a big deal it's like a i mean it's kind of like similar to sarah angel three five instead of four four but it's got a little more upside all right well i feel okay about it we'll give it a try see what we can do see you around one um yeah we can keep this so do i want to surveil right away I'm going to do the turn two cleric. I guess we can surveil right away. Um, yeah, I feel okay keeping that. Ooh, that's a strong one. Hmm. It's a good turn progression.
I think I'm gonna, oh yeah, I can't block with the cleric, that's right. Uh oh, a little bit on the slow side here, huh? All right, well. So, I guess the cleric can't block. So I'm taking four, seven, ten. Wow. Well, I better leave the savior back so I don't die. Oh, I guess I could have leveled up there. Whoops. Jeez, nice turn progression. All right, well, we're super dead. See you for the next one. All right, round two, yeah, it's fine. Both colors, two drop. Mm. Okay, surveilling here. So I'm actually going to keep the land. Um, I guess it makes more sense to do the duo first because then it actually feeds the savior. That is true. All right, didn't actually feed it, but that's all right. Oh, that's... Good sign for us. All right, best use of man is the witness, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hmm. Should have cast the savior first, huh? I mean, it's not the end of the world. Still ends up being okay. They kill the savior, we get the witness back, so that's pretty slick. Mm. Oh, lesser mana value, not power. Whoops. Oh, geez. Look at that. Now I can't kill it with the uh, sonar strike anymore. Oh, well, that worked out.
Huh. So I can only do X for one, huh? It's a little less good. All right, well, I guess we'll do the cleric. Oh, nice one. Well, I can't kill the Fate Tempest, and this has Vigilance, so I suppose I'll just kill this now. Oh. Enters or attacks, exile top X, X number of creatures control power for greater. You may play those cards until your next end step. Wow, that's an amazing card. Well, let's do the mentor and pass, I guess. All right, could be worse. Oh. Well, that's too bad. I guess we just die? Huh. Let's do this and do stargaze for... I don't even know. Maybe just... Maybe just one so I could find... Uh, so I can play a two drop maybe? So I guess I could do for two. Yeah. No, no, I don't want to do that. This, this, this. Oh, geez. Well, that didn't work so hot. No, oh, got beat by the all removal deck, huh? It worked out pretty well for him. All right, see you for the next one. All right, good hand here. We'll go stoat into savior, I guess. So maybe cleric. Hmm. All Just do the savior now, I guess. All right, so. Just gonna make them lose another two at the cleric. But next turn we can make them lose three with this, and this is better use of mana. All right. Oh. 
So they can't even beat us with the rabbit go wide card yet. Because we gained all that life. take it no reason to lose our cleric to a bunny hop or rabbit pump whatever it is yeah irrelevant like now they can't sack their carrot kick either so i don't know if that was the best idea Looks like opponent angry DC, and we'll take it. All right. See you for the next one. Okay, well, not bad. Do we have any double color in this deck? I don't know if we do. We have double black only, so I guess I can start it with the Haven for black. That's cool. Hmm. That's not good enough. Hmm. I guess we can play Grotto. Probably don't need another land. All right. And then Mentor next turn is pretty nice. Good news for us. All right. See you for the next one. Uh, yeah. Perfectly fine card. Stoat is surprisingly good for this deck. It's probably where it's at its best. That was a good draw. So definitely do the charter first if we can get in with that stoat. Hmm. Um, guess we can get our double black here.
All right. I kind of feel like killing that. It just, we don't maximize our star charter, but I kind of like it. Sure, that actually worked out okay. Cause now I can play star charter more safely. get our value here. Kind of surprised they're blocking there, to be honest, but that's all right. So definitely get the cleric more star charter value in case we can't attack with that stoat. See if they have a fight spell. Fight or banishing light. It's a lot of removal. All right. Kind of feel like playing around another high stride side. I don't think I'm going to attack with the star charter. I think I'm just going to get in with the stoat only here. Sure. So we'll just play a cleric and then pass. I want to play the cleric now because I, I want to get as much star charter value as I can here. Ooh, it's got reach. All right, well, Savior's not bad. So we can use Savior plus Cleric. Unfortunately, the Bat deck uh, becomes a bit of a problem the longer it goes. Sure. All right. That's perfect. That was a very timely fell.
No, uh, we're still gonna beat them pretty mercilessly, I think. We'll see. I mean, I guess the rabbit pump is gonna be a problem, but we have the witness. Yeah, we're probably fine. Wow, guess we had lethal. Sweet, see you for the next one. Um, I mean, it's keep. Get our open with the Haven naming black. Guess we have Sonar Strike for a two drop if they have it. If I need it. Well, I just get to loot anyway, huh? Probably kill the looter. I can't block it, so. Ooh, that's a good rip. So let's drop a witness here. Guess we could double block the warden. It's actually not bad. Oh, it's got flying. That's right. Okay. No, that's all right. We don't need a block. Ooh. We don't have the life gain yet. Well, we do, I guess, with the sonar strike, so that's cool. got air vigilance here. Sonar strike is going to be nasty with double mentor. Only on my turn though. That's okay. Not that big of a deal. surveilling that's a good sign for us I would say all right they had a fight spell we're still okay It's got reach, but we've got the strike, so we're okay.
All right. All right, see you for the next one. Oh yeah, let's keep. Need some lands, I suppose, but. Um, oh dang. All right, let's still do the duo, but that might actually potentially set us back here. Ooh, it's a strong one. All right, well, yeah, it actually worked out okay, didn't it? It's a good rip. I'll reach, right? Okay. Sure. All right, so click Cleric, we're gonna have to jump with it. Tech, let's see, block there. Um, should still be alive. All right, well, ended up getting four wins, not bad. This format is just lightning fast. All right, let's do some back one pick ones. Yeah, I mean, this format is definitely feels like super strong two and three drops. 
kind of dictate the game. So, all right, let's do pack one, pick one here. Uh, two drop, two, two, ramp, forage, find a squirrel, put it in your hand. Seems pretty good. Uh, otherwise, rabid gnaw has some nice instant speed removal. And that's about it. I'd probably go with the rare. Jumps you to four, lets you forage and jump more and find your rare squirrels, maybe. Yeah, it's worth it. I could see taking rabid gnaw there, though. Augur. That's a tough one in this format. <laughs> You'd have to have a pretty low curve deck. Parting guess is pretty good removal. You have to give him a fish though. Savor some cheap removal and you get food. It's nice, but you know, it only deals with so much. I mean, the auger is pretty sweet, but like I said, you'd have to have a, I mean, it's, it's for the bat deck though with the life gain. I could see it being okay, but it's such a fast format. It's kind of dangerous. But also, the Offspring is pretty cheap. Drawing two extra cards a turn. <laughs> it's it's pretty, uh, potentially pretty serious. But there is a lot of life gain in, in Bats, so maybe give it a try. It seems a bit dangerous. Infamous Cruel Claw. 3 mana, 3-3, three, three, Weasel, Mercenary, Menace. Deals combat damage to a player. Exile cards on top of your library into Exile and Non-Land. You may cast that card by discarding a card rather than paying its mana cost. That's pretty sweet. Wow. I like that. Well, easy pick there. Um, otherwise, yeah, the forage dude is good. If you got enough forage and food in your deck, you know, or uh, stuff for your graveyard and food. Cash grab, also good for that. Feeds it in two ways. Yeah, really nice. Double feed your forage and find stuff. Nightfisher's good, but like I said, bird deck's pretty slow. There's Banishing Light, but also a bit clunky. I'd probably go with, if Cruel Claw wasn't here, I'd probably go with the, I feel like the Cash Grab's actually better than the Overseer. Just because it feeds the archetype so much. But the one's the, the uh, uncommon, so. All right. So two drop one three vigilance prowess draw discard copy I mean it's, it's a great card I think we take it I like the otter deck anyway it's fun all right thanks for tuning in folks hope you enjoyed it we'll see you for the next one.